hello dear students and teachers welcome back to the channel as few months left for the slc exam 2022 and we teachers are gearing up to finish the portions parallelly we need to start preparing for the exams so i'll be posting the passing package videos covering maximum concepts so i'm starting early so that we get enough time to revise all the topics and also students do subscribe the channel to get all the important notifications and join my telegram group where i'll be posting all the practice questions of this passing package students the important note is maximum concepts questions will be discussed in this passing package not only to pass and also to score good marks make a note of all these questions and do solve the practice questions on your own and also if you have any doubt do discuss with your teachers and friends put your sincere efforts and hard work definitely you will get the success and do subscribe the channel to get all the important notifications about the exams timetable and many more things and also join the telegram group to get all the notes and pdfs and also i'll be posting the model papers after the slc board releases students now we'll solve the first question of this passing package series the first question is find the sum of first 20 terms of the ap 5 comma 8 comma 11 and so on we need to find out the sum of first 20 terms of the given ap that is 5 8 11 so on student the first step is write down the given ap what is the given ap the given ap is 5 what is the given ap the given ap is 5 comma 8 comma 11 and so on first write down the given ap and find out the first term a and the common difference d and n the first term is what the first term is 5 therefore a equals 5 common difference is difference of any two consecutive terms that is a2 minus a1 or A three minus A two, we get eight minus five is three. We need to find out sum of twenty terms. Therefore, n equals twenty. The first term a equals five. Common difference d equals three, and n equals twenty. Now, the sum of n terms of an AP is given by the formula S n equals n by Two into two a plus n minus one into d. Students, do repeat with me and write down the formula at least ten times to remember it. The sum of n terms S n equals n by two times two a plus n minus one into d. Now the next step is. The next step is substitute the value of a, d, and n. Therefore, s yes, twenty equals what is the value of n? Value of n is twenty divided by two as it is into two times what is the value of a? A is five plus bracket what is the value of n? N is twenty minus one. What is the value of d? D is three. Student, 
in this step what you have done just we have substituted the value of n a and d now s 20 equals 2 times 1 2 times 10 we get 10 times 2 fives are 10 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 into 3 now s yes, 20 equals 10 times 10 plus what is 19 times 3 multiply 19 into 3 we get 57 first we need to multiply then we need to add 10 therefore s yes, 20 equals 10 times 10 plus 57 is 67 57 plus 10 is 67 now s yes, 20 equals 10 times 67 is 670 therefore the sum of first 20 terms of the given AP that is 5, 8, 11 is what? 6, 70. So, practice question for you. Find the sum of 30 terms of the AP 2, 7, 12 and so on. What is the first step? First step is write down the given AP that is 2, 7, 12 and so on. Find out the first term A then common difference d and we need to find out sum of 30 terms therefore n equals 30 then write down the sum formula of ap therefore that is sn equals n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 into d if you write the value of a d and n and if you write the formula we'll get minimum half marks and if we substitute we will get more half marks and simplification in writing the answer will get one more total you will get two marks for this question it is a very important questions for the exam finding the sum of n terms of the given AP students hopefully have understood the question number one solve the practice question now we'll move to question number two solve the quadratic equation x square minus 7x plus 12 equals 0 by formula method the first step is write down the given quadratic equation that is given quadratic equation x square minus 7x plus 12 equals 0 write down the given quadratic equation and find out the coefficients a b and c to find out to find out the quadratic solution or the roots of the quadratic equation by formula method first we need to find out the coefficients a b and c the value of a is coefficient of x square is what 1 In the same way b is coefficient of x is minus 7 then c is what the constant 12 a is coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x c is constant 12 now we will write down the quadratic formula that is x equals minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4 times AC whole divided by 2A. This is called as quadratic formula. Do repeat with me loudly. X equals minus B plus R minus square root B square minus 4AC whole divided by 2A. Do repeat with me. X equals minus B plus R minus square root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a now what we need to do now just substitute the value of a 
b and c in the given quadratic formula minus b minus we have already in the formula b value is what minus 7 plus or minus square root of what is the value of b square that is minus 7 whole square minus 4 times a is what a is 1 c value is 12 whole divided by 2 times a is what 1 now x equals minus into minus plus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 whole square that is minus 7 into minus 7 we get minus into minus plus 7 into 7 is 49 we get plus 49 minus 4 times 1 is 4 4 into 12 is 48 whole divided by 2 times 1 is 2 find out the coefficient a b c and write down the quadratic formula substitute the values then simplify that is x equals 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 48 is what 1 whole divided by 2 now we get this implies x equals 7 plus or minus what is square root of 1 square root of 1 is 1 that is 1 whole divided by 2 now take the plus value that is 7 plus 1 by 2 and negative value that is x minus 1 by 2 x equals 7 plus 1 is 8 whole divided by 2 and x equals 7 minus 1 is 6 divided by 2 x equals 8 by 2 is 4 and x equals 6 divided by 2 is what? 3. Therefore, the roots of the quadratic equation are 4 and 3. Students, write down the given quadratic equation. Find out the coefficient a, b and c. Write down the quadratic formula. x equals minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a then substitute the value of a b c and simplify we'll get the roots 2x square plus 5x plus 3 equals 0 solve this by quadratic formula method and also we have you have a practice question solve the quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 equals 0 by formula now find out the coefficient of this quadratic equation 2x square plus 5x plus 3 equals 0 a equals 2 that is coefficient of x square is 2 b equals coefficient of x is 5 then c is what 3 write down the quadratic formula substitute it and find out the roots students hopefully have understood question 2 now we'll solve question number 3 finding the distance between the pair of points 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 students what are the questions we are discussing in this passing package are very important do make a note in your book and do practice all these questions and solve more questions from the textbook based on this same concept now first step is we'll write down the given points that is 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 what are the two points the two points are 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 now mark it as x1 y1 and x2 y what is the value of x1? 2. y1 is 3, x2 is 4 and y2 is 1. N now, the distance between the two points is given by the formula d equals square root of x2 minus x1 
whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. The distance between two points is given by the formula d equals square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now d equals square root substitute the value of x2 x1 y2. What is the value of x2? It is 4 minus x1 is 2 whole square plus what is the value of y2? y2 is 1 minus y1 is 3 whole square. Now d equals square root of 4 minus 2 is 2 square 1 minus 3 is what? minus 2 whole square 1 minus 3 you are subtracting a bigger number from the smaller number what you need to do 3 minus 1 is 2 put bigger number sign minus 2 therefore 1 minus 3 is minus 2 whole square now d equals square root of 2 square is 4 and minus 2 whole square equals minus 2 into minus 2 we get plus 4. Now which can be written as what? 4 times 2. 4 plus 4 is what? 4 times 2. Now d equals square root of 4 is 2 and root 2 will be written as it is units. Therefore, the distance between the two points is what? 2 root 2 units. You have a practice question. Find the distance between the pair of points minus 2 comma 8 and 5 comma 0 and have one more question 6 comma 4 and 8 comma Finding distance between the given point, write down the points and name it as x1, y1, x2, y2 and distance between the two points is given by the formula d equals square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Substitute the value of x1, y1, x2, y2 and simplify you get the distance between the two points. Students hopefully have understood all these three problems and solve these questions and few more questions from the textbook we'll discuss more questions in the next passing package until then thank you for watching the video do subscribe the channel and do share with your friends and also join my telegram group Thank you for watching the video.